Dear comrades, first of all, I want to thank PAME uh, for the invitation uh, to participate at this important Congress. I bring you greetings uh, and best wishes for a successful Congress from the European Regional Office of the WFTU. The militant and combative character of PAME is an example and an incentive for all workers and militant organizations organized with the WFTU in Europe and worldwide. The consolidation, growth and the ideological strengthening of class unionism is now more than ever indispensable in the face of the epochal changes brought about by war and inter-imperialist competition. Big capital finds increasing complicity in the pro-ownership uh, trade union organization affiliated to the ATUC, which, while av avoiding a condemnation of the war, work incessantly to disarm the masses, promote social egoism, encourage the belief in the futility of the struggle, and drive the workers away from social and trade union activity so that they can continue undisturbed in their policy of accompanying capital. NATO's war in Europe is creating a new scenario on the world level and in addition to sorrow and destruction is producing a huge transfer of economic resources to support the European military industrial apparatus in the perspective of the military and economic war of the Euro-Atlantic bloc against Russia and China. The economic sanctions imposed by the USA on Russia and Trump's promise to introduce a new custom duties on European goods are therefore causing a major economic crisis in all European Union countries which are now forced to buy energy products mainly from the USA, paying much more than before. And this is putting the industrial apparatus of many countries, especially Germany and many mechanical engineering industries, in deep crisis. Volkswagen is in the process of closing three plants in Germany and others around the world, with thousands of layoffs precisely because of rising energy costs due to the sanctions against Russia. Michelin in France announced 3,600 fired, while in all European countries, governments following the instruction of the European Union and Draghi are diverting huge resources into founding military industries taking them away from founding pensions, health care and the welfare state, while inflation, inflation raises the cost of living and lowers the value of wages. To date, European Union funding for Ukraine amounts to over 150 billion euros. It is increasingly necessary to strengthen the front in the struggle against the war unleashed by Israel in Palestine and Lebanon with the complicity of the USA and the European Union, which remains silent on the ongoing genocide of the Palestinian people, Israel's continuous aggression against Syria, Yemen and Iran <coughs> and Lebanon, in order to define an ever-expanding zone of influence and a belt of protection occupying territories on its borders and massacring defenseless population. Our trade unions have been at the forefront of demonstration alongside the Palestinian people and all the peoples attacked by Israel, calling for an end to the genocide an immediate ceasefire and the recognition of the state of Palestine on the 1947 borders with Jerusalem and as its capital. In this new international framework, it is the task of the militant and class-oriented trade union organization to maintain a high level of mobilization with strikes and demonstrations that affirm the workers' demands defend economic and trade unions' rights, 
and expose the complicity of the yellow ATUC trade union apparatus and the national trade union organization that follow it. In order to strengthen, broaden, and better organize the presence of the WFTU in Europe, consolidate the international solidarity, to give more strength to the struggle against the war mongering and austerity policies of the European Union, to break the monopoly of the yellow trade unions and the ATUC on represent representation in Europe, EUROF, the European Regional Office of WFTU, has convened a European conference from 28 to 30 January 2025 hosted by CGT Valdemar, which will be attended by delegates from all European countries to define and strengthen the political and struggle path for the coming years. To the, uh, okay, uh, long live PAME, long live WFTU, free Palestine, long live international solidarity. Mm, so